Hey, I'm Alex Huber. Uh, I'm a postdoc in applied math at Tulane University, where I'm funded under a uh, po- uh, an RTG or research training grant in uh, applied and computational uh, or mathematical and computational biofluids. Uh, I'm about to start a position in applied math at University of Akron, and I'm going to do the Gumby Seat Challenge. Okay, so. Um, I've never done this before, so uh, why am I here? I'm a mathematician, uh, and I've had a lot of, uh, I specialize in applied math. I've been doing mathematical modeling now for about oh, my five or six years, um, eight years, oops, uh, and I've been specializing in uh, uh, mathematical biofluids, uh, so problems that involve uh, organisms, biological systems, and fluid mechanics, right? We're talking air, water, locomotion, filtering, pumping, all these different types of things. What? Sit down? Oh, okay. <laughs> right. And, uh, you know, uh, my job here is, well, first off, I've been working with Kakani for the uh, past two or three years or something like that. Uh, and I'm really interested in understanding sort of mid, mid-ocean systems, sort of the biomechanics that ground some of these, sort of how they can also affect sort of these uh, ecological systems as well. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, how is this keeping me safe? <laughs> All right. Super cool. Uh, and, you know, uh, there are a lot of interesting problems here, and I feel like I bring some mathematical expertise to doing computational fluid dynamics for a lot of things. Uh, well, I find bioinspiration to be sort of a very interesting sort of topic because in the end we're looking at biological systems to understand what we can learn from them with these sort of these systems that have been evolving for years for sort of our mechanics, our engineering problems in general, but also sort of understand these complex systems, right? We're looking at the ecology of a system. We're looking at sort of these, whew, these beautiful, beautiful complex systems. And I want to understand what mathematical and physical principles we can sort of extract from these things.